Hello everyone and welcome back to the Red Door Yoga Mini Sutra Series online. Today I wanted to talk about cultivating power behind your choices. So to talk about this, I actually wanted to talk a little bit about, um, you know, a, 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 a sort of a Carl Jung idea. And what we have to look at is that the mind is very dualistic. It, it divides things into one thing versus another thing. So, um, for example, the mind thinks soft. And when it thinks soft, it's simultaneously thinking not hard. Okay, so that's what I mean by the mind is dualistic in its nature. So, what I want to point out here is that our thoughts always have opposing things going on or at least appearing to be opposing, going on. And because of this dualistic aspect, we tend to develop an idea of some of these thoughts, some of these beliefs, some of these desires being good, and some of them being bad. And when we develop this idea that, you know, some are good and some are bad, we tend to chase off the ones that we have labeled as good, and we can develop guilt and shame around the ones that we have labeled as quote-unquote bad. And this is problematic in terms of cultivating real power behind our choices. So there was a, a scientist who was actually explaining um, the idea of the transcendent function uh, according to Carl Jung, and we're not going to get too far into that, but what I want to talk about is the little story that he tells. And he said that, you know, when he was a, a, a young boy, he lived next to this forest. And uh, so he said, you know, uh, as a boy, he would come upon woodland creatures every now and then who were hurt in some way, and he would try to help them. He, he did admit that, you know, being a, a young boy, he was not always successful and in fact uh, sometimes may have inadvertently killed these poor animals while he was attempting to help them. But that's not actually uh, the real point of the story, but it is related. Because one day, he came upon this small bird that was not doing well. So he picked up the small bird, and it was his intention to help the small bird. But he said in the moment that he picked up the bird, with his intention to help the small bird, he was suddenly struck by just how light and, and basically fragile this bird was. And he saw the thought go through his mind that he could very well simply close his hand and crush the bird. Now, he didn't do that because it was his intention to help the bird. But the point here being is that the thought did occur to him. It did occur to him that he could harm the bird, that he could crush this bird in his hand. Now, if he looked at this thought and felt shame and guilt that this thought had occurred, and he would therefore try to hide from it, what happens is there's a lot of energy that goes into um, basically trying to to pretend that this thought didn't occur, to pretend that it doesn't exist within him. And as a result, it actually pulls energy away from his ability to move into the path that he has chosen, which in this case is to help the bird. Now, I've talked about this in the past, but I really want to talk about it specifically related to cultivating strength and power behind your choices. Because on the path of self-mastery, we are constantly making choices. And we have to recognize that either choice is okay. The fact is, if we use the example of the boy, and the scientist when he was a boy, the fact is, he can harm the bird. And that is as valid a choice as helping the bird. Now, it is not a choice that I would make, uh, and hopefully, most of you would not make the choice to harm the bird, okay? But it is a valid choice. Why is it important that I point out that it's a valid choice? The reason that's important is because if we put a lot of value judgment around it, if we put a lot of morality around that choice, that is precisely the thing that makes us sticky around the thought process, sticky around the energy, that is behind the choice. And when we get sticky, we divide our power into holding back the wall on this thought versus putting our energy towards the choice we're making. So it actually is to our benefit in terms of self-mastery to remove emotional import, to remove moralistic import around the thought that is occurring. 
okay? That does not mean that we're all going to turn into people who will, you know, walk around harming birds. That, that just doesn't mean that at all, okay? We are still able, and we will actually in some ways make even clearer choices to move towards self-mastery if we remove these, these energetic and moralistic imports around these thoughts. Okay, so I hope this was helpful, everyone. Um, please do like the video, share the video with others, and uh, I am, it's always a pleasure for me to be able to help you along the path of self-mastery. This is, this is my dharma. This is my, my duty. This is what I've, I'm built for. I'm here to be of service. So thank you for allowing me to be of service to you. And if there's anything else that you'd like to know about, please do put it in the comments below. I uh, personally read the comments um, on the videos, so I'm always pleased and happy to hear your comments so that I know how I can better serve you. Okay? I look forward to seeing you again online very soon. Namaste.